Welcome back to Rugby M here on Made in Leeds. We're back here with you, Keith, Peter Gordon here and Alan OTT. We're just going to talk a little bit about our glory days at the Leeds Rhinos now. Me and myself uh, and Alan OTT, very different type back rows. He's a really good one. I was a bit average. <laughs> and I, <laughs> he's got a lot more charge than I did. But I wondered, Keith, what are the advantages and disadvantages of having me and Ali? inside you yeah. <laughs> two total different comparisons obviously Ali very gifted with ball in hand but absolutely bone eyed at the time <laughs> <laughs> he was one of them that do something brilliant you know he's, he's got the basketball skills but when it came to defending he didn't like doing that whereas you on the other hand you're a bit of a work rate you like getting in the mix and, and you like to to make it a little bit messy but you couldn't pass. Is it Lionel Messi, skillful? Like, 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 I, I won't go that far. You, you learnt, you learnt <laughs> as, you, as you got a little bit older. It was something that we worked on with you, because if, if I knew what I learnt as a centre, if I had a second runner that couldn't pass the ball, I weren't going to see anything. So True. it was something that I tried hammering into you to, to make sure that I could uh, at least get a little bit of ball from I you. I certainly got a lot of blame, Ali. I don't know about you when things went wrong in defence. Did he give you a lot of stick? When yeah, he, he let me know, yeah. He always let me know, you know. He's, nah. <laughs> he's always the mouth of the left side, so yeah. I remember one game against St. Helens, I think uh, you scored a length of the field try. It's a bit like what you were saying about defence. He was getting back on sides like, oh, Jonesy, Jonesy, get his I'm trying to... And then St. Helens dropped the ball. And now he picked up and went... <laughs> went full length and uh, scored. Do you remember that? Yeah, Helens, yeah, yeah. Road. Yeah, but that's because... Um, what's his name? The fullback was... Um, I don't know, was he injured or something? Or he was carrying, yeah, he was carrying some injury. Right. He couldn't run that fast. And, he used to tell me, go, 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 and I was like, nah, I can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. We, uh, we're obviously talking a lot about the Magic weekend. It's coming up uh, on us pretty soon, Ali. And we've been asking a lot of players in the Real Super League what their Magic moment was in the Magic weekend. Have you got any special memories from the uh, days back at Leeds or Wakefield at the Magic weekend? Yeah, I think it's just going there and seeing all the other, all the other teams, you know, all together in one stadium. I don't, I don't think I could recall one Magic um, moment, but I think just playing in those big stadiums is, a, you know, is a big buzz. That's it. Um, you know, last year was Manchester. Um, was it Cardiff? The other years. Um, now at um, Newcastle. So yeah, it's just the, a good atmosphere with all the fans in one, you know, one roof and um, all the teams come together. So uh, yeah, it's a good, good um, initiative and good occasion for rugby league. So yeah. Just really quickly, Peter, do you think it's a good venue to have it? The uh, St James's Park up there in the North East. Oh, I've been involved probably once with the Magic Weekend and I enjoyed it at um, uh, what was it? Manchester yeah. City, so around. That's right. Um, yeah, I think being at this new venue, I'm not too familiar with it, but I reckon it's just going to be just the same as at Manchester. And I was, no, the game wasn't memorable because we got absolutely hammered <laughs> last year, but no, I was just, like Ali, is just looking forward to the crowd and just the atmosphere. And just, I like it when it, all the teams turn up and just all the fans with their jerseys and just chanting away. Yeah, you don't really get a damn, do you? No, no. You're just that, you're like, how <laughs> you just both that relaxed, you just go with flow, don't <laughs> yeah. you? Well, if you want to come to the Magic Weekend, check out our website, rugbyam.co.uk. There's two pairs of tickets being given away in our special competition. Uh, we're going to catch up with Rachel Kershaw now, who's been out and about, giving us a bit of a Magic Weekend guide and a roundup. So check this out. Over 7,000 bedrooms in Newcastle and the surrounding areas. We've got everything from budget hostels right through to high-end boutique hotels. But you don't have to stay in the city centre. There are loads of other options available to you. Outside of the city centre, there's loads of other great places you can stay as well. Cities like Sunderland and Durham, places like Morpeth and Jesmond, and it's really easy to get out to the coast as well at Tynemouth. Let's show you how easy it is on the Metro. It's only taken me about 10 or 15 minutes from Newcastle city centre on the Metro to here in Tynemouth, a gorgeous coastal town that's a fantastic place to stay. And every Saturday and Sunday from nine till four, we've got this lovely market right here in the Metro station. There's a wide variety of accommodation here in Tynemouth, from award-winning B&Bs to lovely hotels overlooking the sea. 
and fans who choose to stay here will not be short of places to eat and drink. There's also plenty to see and do when you're not at the game. A couple of stops north of Tynemouth is another bustling town, Whitley Bay. There's plenty of affordable accommodation here on streets like North Parade and South Parade and Whitley Bay Town Centre has a metro stop to take fans directly to St James's Park. The leafy suburb of Jesmond is just a five minute ride on the metro from St James's Park and the Main Street Osborne Road is bustling with a good number of hotels, B&Bs and apartments. So if you can't find what you're looking for in the city centre, Jesmond is a wonderful alternative. All along Osborne Road you'll find vibrant bars with lively outdoor beer gardens so you can enjoy a few drinks in the sunshine. There's also great places to eat from fine dining to gourmet burgers. Fans who come to Jesmond will definitely not be disappointed with what's on offer. I've shown you plenty of places to stay, but you know there are even more options, including camping at Newcastle Racecourse or great value accommodation in student halls. Get online at nirvanaeurope.com to find out more. And if you still haven't booked your Magic Weekend tickets, head to rugbyleetickets.co.uk. Top work, Rachel, again. Join us after the break for part four of Rugby AM. <laughs> 